Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Carla has a, a little tiny thing in the uh, kitchen um, that's kind of cute. We've had it for years and years and years, and it is the number of days till Christmas, and it's got the blocks that uh, you oh, yeah, turn in that particular countdown order. Counter, yeah. And it gave me just a wonderful uh, chance to have an exchange with my son when I said to him, uh, 20 days, and uh, he turns around in the tone that I'm getting more and more, Dad, it's 21 days. And no, Mike, then, he's, actually, he's actually right. Yeah, I know he's right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because this guy? 21 days for Christmas 21. shopping. 21 days yes. to fill the stocking. 21 days for Christmas shopping. Yes, I understand, Bruce. Oh, right. Hold on, only 21. Oh, Hi there. Have there you done is. your Christmas shopping? First day. You better get busy. You better get only busy. Only 21 shopping days left. There's only That's 21 it. left. Um, <laughs> let, me, so, let me reiterate a quick announcement here, just so everybody knows. If for the TMOS, TMOSstore.com, God bless you guys that have right. ordered. Right. The next item, I'll have to lobby him because we, we fight over these things, yeah. is the hat. Yes. And I, I am going to curate the hat myself, and I want a specific kind of hat. We, we, had, we had a hat. Too expensive. The hat you sent me was, uh, might as well made, be made out of cardboard, so the hat I did not approve of. Yeah, you, you, didn't, you didn't say Yeah, anything. and you didn't like my suggestion, which was a TMOS wizard's hat. And it was long and pointed and you know, had stars and moons. You know, was, all I'm trying a, to do. I thought it was the I'm Gilligan trying. hat. Oh, that's also good. Yeah, like a bucket hat. <laughs> Look, you're wearing a ball cap today. Yes. Yeah. You wear the, hats Nike, more, the Nike you, Corporation. You wear hats more than anybody on the show. Yes. I wear hats in on the weekend. Otherwise, my hair sticks straight up. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. I go hygienically challenged on certain Sundays, as I did yesterday. The Lord's Day. The Lord's Day. Day of rest. When I'm out throwing a ball with my kid and I and my hair That's is sticking sweet. straight up and I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, should go inside and get the hat. But yeah. I wear hats all the time. Also great golf. for sun protection. Oh, very the good. The best it's, for sun protection. If you're mm-hmm. bald, forget it. You need one. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, But getting a good quality it, hat is difficult. Um, you know what? I have... I have strong feelings of yeah. uh, on hats. I have a variety of hats from a variety of uh, manufacturers, uh, both custom and generic. Uh, I want a wicking hat. I, uh, you know what? You should get a wicking hat. As someone who is outside in ninety-seven degree weather, a uh, wicking hat is important because yeah. not only does a wick, wicking hat uh, keep you cooler, but a wicking hat can also uh, not stain. Like a cotton hat can. Oh, oh that's that true? so true. I did not so know that. So true. Cotton hats can get crappy quickly. Yeah. Your golfers talk about it. I was talking to a golfer the other day that went to a tournament, and they had a beautiful cotton hat. It had the floor, state of Florida on it. It was mm-hmm. a really neat-looking hat with, like, a flag on the side. Cotton. They're all bitching about it because they're all nasty now. Wow. Mm. Because they After all get week. sweated up, and then yeah. it's so, like this sweat ring on it. We'll, <laughs> we'll tell you more about the uh, TMOS uh, store yeah. in the uh, body in the new of the year, show. New yeah. hats. But for now, if you want what you get, you get, and you won't get upset, you get it in today. We today. haven't confirmed it, but after the uh, first of the year, I will be lobbying Oscar for a hat. And yes. by the way, I haven't been inundated with people clamoring for hats. You know, <laughs> I've I've been inundated by people saying, "Where's my yeah. Where's well, my stuff?" Yeah, is your co- Yeah. So it's, it's you, you order know. on demand. Yes. Uh, ho, ho, yeah. ho. We. Don't carry inventory. We only order it once you buy it. We That's did right. that and once, did. and it was a nightmare. Yes. It is. It, it was, was a nightmare, and it was in my attic. And then it was at, uh, where would you work? Mangrates. And then at it was the at warehouse. Goodwill. Then and Goodwill. What? Then Goodwill. At Goodwill. Yes. They didn't want it there. Uh, anyhow, uh, they really didn't. I don't know. I'm making that so, up. No, it was the one right next in Manassas. They're like, are all these unworn? I said, do you have a lot of people with triple X? Yeah, need of triple X white T-shirts, <laughs> and then Oscar with his windows down, speeding away, screaming, "Take the deduction!" <laughs> um. <laughs> so regarding this, uh, you know I like my watches, right? So it, yes. Uh, but unfortunately, even the greatest watch 
uh, does not store power. An automatic watch does not uh, store power indefinitely, so you have to reset them every single time. And I, yeah. in error, reset mine uh, one day ahead. So when I said 20 days, because I kind of was like, hey, five, and I do that math. I love simple math. Mm-hmm. And I said to my son, no, Dad, 21 days. And I looked down and I said, no, it's the fifth. Dad, Dad, it's mm-hmm. the fourth. And then he said something about dementia. And I said, uh, he did. Oh, oh, he no. makes age jokes about me constantly. Oh, that yeah. is not okay. Yes. I would not <laughs> allow that. He's got a That's... sense of humor. He's got a yeah. dark sense of humor. Yeah, but and when I looked gets over so him... close to the truth. <laughs> is it funny? <laughs> so I looked at him. Yes. Moving, he said moving along. I looked at him and I said, um, I said, Michael, I hope you treat me well if that ever really happens. And the response was that the response was the most demonic laugh I've ever heard. Uh, And a laugh that would say he would make me sleep in the garage and tell me it was the bedroom. You know, (laughs) pillow made you feel like Luke Soprano. Warm Warm and fuzzy. So it, uh, it, it, it is uh, 21 days yeah. till... So it behooves 21. you, Mike. It and behooves I have yet you to, to get the uh, take right. my yeah. $140 Orient watch mm-hmm. and uh, reset it. But I did polish it over the weekend because that's what it's I do for fun. It, it relaxes good. and centers me. Ah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what it does. So I understand. I'd like to say ho, 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 <laughs> uh, 21 days. And, uh, and it feels like... Um, for some particular reason, it feels like there is a longer period of time between Thanksgiving and Christmas this year, but that's not the, the case. It correct? is the case. It, it is, is the, case. the case. Yeah, we had an early oh, Thanksgiving because uh, President Roosevelt, way back in the day, to increase the shopping season, moved. It used to be Thanksgiving was the last Thursday in November, and he moved it to the fourth Thursday in November. So let me tell you why, what what has. Uh, taken me bumped me temporarily out of the christmas spirit Mm. uh the fact that we have flag football a new season of activity has started and it's december and it feels a little odd for me Mm -hmm. Uh, although we did it last winter so or the winter before um and my son although he is 10 is now playing in the 12 and under because he was moved up and because he's moved up, he didn't get the exact, uh, he didn't get total playing time, which is the whole time. And right, right, it, right. it gave both, I think, my son and me a flashback to when uh, he was doing that. He is, uh, he is as big as some of the other kids that are 11 and 12 year olds, but he is, uh, it, it just, it was a good game, but. I got to lay it all on the table. Okay. Just really tell do. us. Yeah. I got to lay it all on the table. Tell us I the am. Truth. I'm getting a little crisp on the rules of the game, all right? The rules of the game are what I believe is if you are somebody that's involved to the level that you coach and things like that, uh, that's good for your kid. I am not, in my humble opinion, either a former high school or even middle school football player, Mm -hmm. and I am a football observer, and I am a casual football observer. I do not feel that I am qualified to step onto that uh, field and do the coaching. So I don't coach. But I realize that to control the narrative, if I coached, I don't think we'd have any issues with playing time. And unfortunately, now uh-huh. that's that's twice, both in flag football, where that's been the case. Now, mm. with the, the real football, the Pop Warner football, merit, more of a meritocracy and yeah. lots of playing time. But this, I got a flashback. You remember that season that I had where I was mm-hmm. a little frustrated? What and so classification I, was he in before 12 and under? What's the one he advanced well, it's from? Well, all, it's all runs together between Pop Warner and, uh, and flag. Okay. And for right. me... For me, I had a flashback of watching what he, what I watch when he would. I just don't, I don't like my kid when he, in flag football, don't like him to be taken out of the game because it's kind of like there are three other kids on the sideline. They're the little bitties. And I was a little frustrated because I, uh, and I'd like to apologize to my wife for my uh, behavior uh, as we were walking to the car, as I was just like, you know, why, why do we even, Show up and do I don't, this, you know. I'm so, I'm sorry, and maybe because I don't have a child, or I've never been 
part of organized sports. They, they outside lost of, at the end of the game, by the way. And I, it's, flag it's, football doesn't not really a, matter. It's but not the, even about that. I yeah. don't understand what's happening, and please bear with me. He's not getting full playing time because everybody needs to play, and that's the attitude. I don't not even know that. Pl- that's oh, it, that's you don't know oh, that. I don't okay. even know okay. that. I, I, I will tell you that I didn't even think about it because I thought it was a given based on the numbers that we were talking about. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, it's just – it's a drag, and, uh, and, I, and I, I promised my wife on uh, su- Sunday morning – it was a Saturday night game. That ah. I will be on my absolute best behavior for the rest. I, I didn't do this in front of anybody. I was but, just bitching. But it was I was bitching. Like I, I was like bitching. I was bitching because she... I'm like, you know, uh, I and I and these. By the way, all these comments are emotional and probably not warranted. All right, but oh, the, the... but I will give you a classic example of the bitching. You know, oh, right? okay. Uh, it, a, it's the neighborhood. You know, the neighborhood. Uh, the neighborhood pickup game. And he's not in the neighborhood. So blah, blah, blah. Same old, same old, same old, same right, old crap. Right. Where the kids and dads that know each other, blah, 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 blah. And so, I, and I was going on and on. And Carlos like, all right, just stop it. Not in front of Michael. And then they lost at the end, even though I think the team played better. Uh, and so I was just like pissed. Because I'm unfortunately hyper competitive. Mm-hmm. I really am. I'm silly competitive. I, I keep it in my pants when I can, but sometimes it leaks out, and I think I've articulated that uh, very, very openly on this show. Yeah. Uh, the most, the best uh, glaring example would be the what I refer to now as the Mark Miller incident. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. I am hyper competitive. By the way, everybody that plays a sport at 64 and above is hyper competitive. Mm-hmm. If you're yeah, playing, but a you sport, guys are doing it for l- leisure, right? It's pleasure. I should say leisure and pleasure. Okay. Uh, oh, and, pleasure. But you know, there's decorum, and I'm not screaming on the sidelines, but I am just quietly pissed because all I want to do is see my kid play the whole game. I do. Yeah. Want to see yeah. him play the whole and damn so, game? But it's, it's a commitment. Good. It's a, it's a step in the right direction that you only bitch to Carla and you didn't, you know, explode. Was right. her attitude? I didn't, the no, there was day? no need to explode. I, I was. I mean, there were some people that we hadn't seen. It was a. It was a pleasant evening. At the very end, I think uh, perhaps the end of the day, fatigue settling in a bit. Sure. The meds, maybe the tail end of the meds for the day. You know, where I'm just kind of like uh, the, the my inner bitch yeah. is coming out uh, aggressively, and uh, and it's just I don't know. I can't. Well, you t- woke look, up. If I su- could tell you, I'd be a therapist. Were I, you I, hungry? I, uh, like a Snickers commercial? No, no I was not. No. Yeah. I, in fact, quite the opposite. Huh. I, I was not hungry. Yeah, everyone, any of us can get hungry. In fact, hangry. Uh, most of the weekend, I was not hungry at all. And so it was, uh, but it was just, I don't was know. Was it to a point that when you woke up the next day, Carla was frosty and not, you had to make an apology? Not totally, not really, but there was a talk. Okay. And it, it was instigated by me to say, look, it's not worth it. I don't mean, I don't, I mean, here's what I think. All right. This is my self-analysis. As I say, this show is therapy. Bear with me. Some of you uh, will attack. That's fine. Uh, it's a public forum. I accept that. I believe that in moments like I had on Saturday night, my inner insecurity of being an older father comes to the forefront. I think uh. I don't necessarily uh, relate to a lot of the uh, the parents. But at the same time, there are multiple older people that have kids that it's not that it's not a massive gulf of you know 20 somethings these are 10 year olds so you got 40 year olds and 50 year olds i can relate to them do you think you're the oldest though maybe but i'm not sure i can't give you a definitive answer so this is a pleasant exercise this by the way this is like i I said as i said to my kid the other night i said just keep yourself in shape this is exercise as you are getting ready, if you choose to, to play for your school someday. Mm-hmm. This is what this is about, keeping yourself sharp at the same time. He's hyper competitive too, doesn't like to lose. Uh, caught a pass that uh, we thought was a touchdown, but they didn't call it a touchdown. They didn't think he was over the line. I thought he was over the line. Mm-hmm. So he had a good night, dropped a pass too, dropped an easy pass that he should have had. So he was like a, 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 a lot of emotions. Dad was a lot of emotions. And on the big scale of things, just doesn't matter. So, Carla, publicly I tell you, <laughs> I will do better. 
I, I tell I tell Carla and Oscar on seemingly a weekly <laughs> basis that I will do better. That's right. Well, it's, and it's I, a, and look, I try it's, to, you've I come really a long way in in the, uh, in the last seven years. I I believe I have. There's been there yeah. has been uh, growth. Now, did you feel? Did you do any behavior? <laughs> <laughs> there has. I mean, yeah. It's the truth. Mike, was there any behavior last night that you felt you should have <laughs> apologized to your son? Like, did you give him grief I'm for the uh, the drop pass? I'm sorry. Uh, I Mike apologize. Mike is about to choke and die on his water. Liquid <laughs> IV. There has been growth. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Um, we salute hopefully. you. Hopefully. Yeah, there what? We yes. salute you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, uh, warm evening, 81-ish, you know, down yeah. in December. Th- oh, I'm I jealous. Know, just kind of slide. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am I feel for uh, Glorious. The, the rest of the country that's uh, Horrible dealing with it. For me, it was, uh, it, it just was weird, and it, uh, you know, carried over into uh into sunday morning but then we had a, a fairly uh decent day and then a, a crappy horrible sunday night and monday morning again mm-hmm. so it was like yeah you know and i'm a i'm a tough love parent and it's funny that uh, when my kid feels like he's a little under the weather i'm a i'm a taskmaster when it comes yeah. to school you know i'm not one of those uh tiger moms that you know where you uh, you know where you say uh, let's uh, let's welcome little Jenny who has never missed a day. You know I I look at those oh, kids with the great the perfect attendance the yeah. perfect attendance and they're they're and then the kid walks up you know uh, <laughs> looks like they've been uh, kept in a cage all their lives you know with the circles under their eyes and they everything and like, it's like oh they look like the two kids <laughs> under the robe of the ghost of Christmas yet to come. I, yeah, it's it's. <laughs> I've seen all the incarnations, some of them a tad disturbing. All yeah, right, I understand. but at the yeah. same time, it's Monday, and you if it, look a kid of mine, if you're rolling out on a Monday, and that's when you're like, my stomach, it yeah, ain't ain't gonna work with yeah. me. Carla is the taskmaster; she's the one that's tougher on tough him cop, in almost cop. every category. I'm not easy, but she's the one that's tougher when it comes to this. She becomes a pile of jello, and she walks into me. Uh, you know, we have uh, we've arranged uh, through a series of uh, plumbing renovations to have separate bathrooms, and uh, she comes in and says to me, "I think Michael's uh, Michael's not feeling real well," and I'm in the shower. I oh. am in the shower. I am thirty minutes away from doing this, and I like to have a few moments to gather myself of to course. come in because I take this seriously. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, well, oh joy, oh rapture, I have to come and deal with this crap. And I deal with it in such a way as like, it's Monday. And he says, I feel sad. I said, it's up here more than it's down there. So, mm-hmm. and by the way, if you, if you don't, you're going to feel guilty and you're going to feel like crap, even though you don't think you are. If you yeah. stay home, that's how you're going to feel. Yeah. But he, it's not true, of course, because he'd be just like yeah. on the computer within 10 minutes. Stomach, stomach pain is a, magically this is, a, this is a genius way to reason with, uh, you know, almost teenager at this well, point. Well, I think that that's the way. I remember I had it. I don't know if it was fourth grade, third or fourth grade. I had it. A lot of kids have it. And it's a case of the Mondays. It was, your adulthood. It's the Mondays. Yeah. It's the Mondays, Mondays are for winners. You know right. how I would have handled it, Mike? I would have said, ah, your stomach mm, sounds like a bad case of dropped pass itis. <laughs> get your ass in the car. Well, and then he would have burst into tears. <laughs> Squad for life. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh-huh. quit football and get into competitive Legos. Yeah. <laughs> Went to a new Legos. joint. Took him to a new joint. A little... Uh, Tiny little uh, restaurant, not restaurant, kind of a bar and uh, golf simulator place, and hung out on the uh, on the Sims. Wow! Which uh, so you, you know, took him to a bar and he still didn't play well. Uh, <laughs> he played fine. I know he played. It's like an fine. episode of Shameless, <laughs> right? I, I took uh, I took my daughter. What's the daughter's name? Darlene. I took Darlene to uh, the local uh, new restaurant. Isn't that a a uh, bar for adults? Yeah, well, it is, but they need the business, too. Yeah. yeah. This <laughs> place, too. took her to uh, Twin Peaks. And- this yeah. place, too. We had a great time. It was like we kind of had the place to ourselves, and then uh, mm-hmm. it was a really, really good time. What, uh, what's up, fun up about it? until the bill uh, came. What's the place called? Uh, I'm not mentioning it by name. Okay. I've learned my lesson the hard way with that. But to, what? Do we get sued? No, we get to... Uh, all right. Need I mention... Yeah. The uh, 
God, my life is a series of conflicts. I just love he- or hearing about this. Yeah. My life is a series of conflicts. That's what it There's is. There's a place that opened up around the corner. That's what I'm trying to figure this out. This is not it's a same national place. place, so I don't oh, want to. Oh, okay. okay, never mind. This is uh, a mom and pop. Um, so this is but a it's Florida like, simulation like a, place. It's, is it, it's like, uh, <laughs> but for adults, real golfers. Yeah, yeah but you can like pot. pretend to make meth or pretend to kill a gator or something. Is that what they do there for the simulation for Florida? Uh, right. Moving right along. Are you done? <laughs> that was a bit much. Are yeah. you done? Pretty um, far. Done. So, yeah, but it is uh, with the price that they charged. I, you know, to know immediately that's not going to be a regular hang. Yeah. Because I guess you know they got to pay the rent. So yeah. I understand. But I it reinvigorated my desire uh, to uh, you know reconfigure my space out here. Oh, for uh, the oh I learned a lot about simulators. Mike, I learned so much about it because I have a friend who just put one in their house. And they uh, is it your friend that may, might have played in the NFL? No. Okay. Is no, it a, is friend. it a friend with a uh, network uh, net worth uh, that is uh, shiny and large? No. Is okay. it a friend then, that then wears no orange one? a lot? No. It's not Mike McIntosh. Okay. Stop <laughs> just it. Checking. Golf no, simulator in his condo. I don't play golf. Well, I don't think it would have been a golf simulator. It would have simulated they, I don't know they, human contact. They beat. They, they actually <laughs> built it for their father. Okay. In the and the and this is why it made sense to me. I was like, "Oh, this completely. This is my Comera." The issue they had with the simulator, yeah, they had to build it twice because oh. the first time they put it in, the ceiling was too low. Okay, okay, I get that. It was and in a garage. They to, yes, they had to raise the ceiling of the garage in order to justify the actual full simulation. Really? Yeah. And that's pretty cheap, isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't, don't have know. to do that in here. I didn't really get into <laughs> it. I don't have to do that in here. I know I mean, exactly I, what I'm going to do. But you I, know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, like, yeah it, I know exactly. It just has to and, be. And I also know that the the uh, price point on these things is uh, you can really do one now for less money than you used to be able to do one for. Okay. Yeah. And there's one guy that had one in his garage. It was absolutely incredible how he did it Would for you the call money. It? Bitchin. It was bitching, and it was it yeah. was a guy that did it on the cheap, and it looked uh, it looked tens of thousands of dollars is what it looked mm. like. Yeah, it doesn't have to. It depends on how much effort and time you have. And that's what he had. This yeah. guy, it, you know, that's what these things all are. This is a guy that did this all day long, that had this all day. And I have such admiration for guys that are do-it-yourselfers that do that. Yeah. Uh, you have to be. You have to be handy, and uh, so yeah, also de- dedicated. Because think about you, you, I, you talk about toil with me, like my toil is all computer based, right? You know, it's not right. So when right. he it's, built it's, his it's hardware, different. he built like the T, and I suppose I suppose there's like a net that you. It's hit like into. a net. It's like a and it's a it's a vinyl tarp that, okay, that but is then a, do also you a buy, projection screen. That's what I was going to say, but the software that says that you're like at Pebble Beach or Goose yeah. Creek or wherever you're yeah. probably that's, not Goose that's, Creek. That's included in these simulators. Okay, so you buy that. You don't have but to that, like that's the ex- That's probably the most expensive part. Okay, that makes oh, sense. That's the most expensive part. The software. The software, yeah. yeah. But is it just a regular projector? Um, there are varying degrees okay. of I these. thought you need like laser tracking and yeah. then like. I think it up. has, you have to combine the television element with the computer yeah. element. Mm-hmm. Someone. A, you're basically projecting a computer monitor on a, on a vinyl yeah. tarp. That's what, mm-hmm. it, that's what it is. But well, yeah, there but, are guys but, that do it so well. Let me be clear here. Yes. <sighs> We've all learned the hard way. Mm-hmm. We've actually done this on the show yeah. in the early stages of this, of this program. Right. And I thought, because we had the time and we had the ingenuity, um, it was viable. We had a custom PC that had four USB cams, and we worked out of your house in Manassas, mm-hmm. Mike. And that thing would have an issue every single day. Mm-hmm. It was never go in, flip on, works. Right. No, there was a particular order you had to plug the cameras in. Yeah. It was like trying to find the Holy Grail. And you get to a certain part in your life where you're not going to deal with that garbage anymore, and that's what you pay for, is the reliability. Yeah. And, of, of, and, a, of a pro. Of a pro. <laughs> that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, so with that said, I'm glad we buttoned this up. I yeah. am not there. 
nor uh, I'm not ready for that. But uh, I you also have a studio in your house. I also have a studio where but, you want the golf simulator. Uh, yeah. I, I've got my idea of the feng shui of it. Uh, oh. What what is required? Uh, you know where, where you're looking at me right now. Yes. Yeah. Someday will be a vinyl monitor or uh, or and and the studio will be. Uh, it will be. It'll basically be yank, yank, yeah. Nyeh. That's it. Okay. That's what yeah. I'm going to do. Um, Does the simulator? Gonna, what come about up? what about your tools or, or yeah. your watch? Your watch. Uh, that yeah. would uh, that would be you know uh, that have to go shuffled off to another. Yeah. Another Does the location. simulator come with a robot caddy? You're not. You, this is you. You are so uninterested in this topic. No, I'm not. I am. Yeah, you, you just I talked about. We math. did a whole bonus you're, show you're, you're, on your little your nerd dink hobby. Yeah. All right, and we were serious about it yes. when you were going. And the windscreen. You know, and I pretended to be interested in that. You if you, at least if I have to hear about one more ribbon. Okay, no more ribbons, especially this time of year. <laughs> By the way, the sell a couple of them, for God's sake. Be responsible. Okay, you know what? How about this? No. Wow. I like them. I love them. Mike, they bring me joy. I've told you in the past, I've a lot of things that have bring me joy are no longer part of my life. My golf That's why clubs I keep bring me joy. I liked having them. I yeah. got rid of every single one of them. Mm-hmm. And with I my, think in a pinch, he'd sell them. And we'd, my, all, we'd all with sell weight them. Loss, we I was I was able to go in because I traded them and I had trade at the store. I was right. able to get all the stuff I needed to go down a couple of sizes. It was yeah, but, it was great. But golf clubs, they're continuing to make and improve golf clubs. Am I right? They get they better continue and better to make and improve microphones. Not like this. This I mean I cannot. They're not building a microphone right, that was built in nineteen forty. There's not no interested. time. I'm not machine. interested. Okay, uh, you brought anyway, it up. I'm not. I'm not interested. Mike, in, I in wish that. you the best of luck in your simulation pursuits. Uh, it's just too. I think that. Um, you don't have to raise. Yeah. You might not have to raise the roof. You have do a tall you, roof. Do you know You're what? Right. You know what's going to come out. You know, I know yeah. exactly what's going to come out. The cage, hmm. the the cage above the uh, above yeah. the the cage yeah. above Where, that, that piece wh- of crap yeah. cage. <laughs> that, it is that, like that. that Mike has a ceiling mounted. That the people that lived here before <laughs> got and gone. You know what you yeah. have to do, Mike? You're going to have to get By the way, gonna... one half of it fell out of the goddamn I... ceiling. Yeah, it's almost like God oh, is no. telling you to get rid of it. I mean, yeah. it's happening. It's half done. You're going to need to get a storage that unit. That is so true. I know true. you hate a storage unit. We have a storage already unit. Have one. You can't oh, live in Florida one. without a storage unit. That's oh, okay. That's the state flower of Florida is a storage unit. <laughs> oh, do you know what they just built down the street? What? They just built, what's it called? It made me want to barf. The, I, I've talked about it before. The, yeah, the, the luxury place. The luxury lux- car. The car. And on the side and, uh, of the building, they finally get their big, shiny sign up. The toy barn. The toy barn. The, That's hey, the toy, it's the toy barn. It's the toy barn. Yes, yeah. sirree. 400 grand for a piece of cinder block crap, you richy riches. That's what's it'll wrong keep with your, America. It'll keep your car dry. Yes, you keep your true. car dry. Yeah. I, <laughs> something I don't, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Happy holidays! <laughs> Happy holidays! <laughs> this is stream of consciousness. Mike's having a having a uh, a nervous breakdown uh, on the show. This is a bad to get though. Don't worry. It'll, okay, I I'm, think I'm he's gonna, coming around. I think on. he just I think he just turned it around. All is good. Toy now. barn. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, can you bring it up? Put please? my code it's in. Public place. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking yeah, for Matt, it. Find, the, find the toy toy, barn. What's the city? What's the city again? Stero, Fl- uh, Fort you. Myers, Florida. It's over the Fort board. Myers, Florida. Mike, it would be a good gag if you uh, got a unit at the toy barn and then showed up with a lot of toys. Just find like, you know, here's my game of Battleship. Here's a teddy bear. All these things. But I it's think a, you're able to do whatever you want with it. I think. Yeah, but you it's like an, upper, it's an upgrade, it. right? Because I bet it's it would for be cars. perfect for a, go, a golf simulator. But I'm not gonna, you know. I mean, who knows? Well, it might not be climate controlled. <laughs> it's 120 degrees. No, the houses down here are not like houses in the Northeast. Uh, right. A lot of them are kind of space challenged. Uh, lots of little ticky tackies that all yeah. look the same down here. Efficiency. That's the way it goes. They're very efficient in the way they're built. Did you find it yet, Mac? Are you sure it's called the toy barn? No. Toy vault. Okay. Toy vault. Toy vault. <laughs> okay. Thank you for asking. What was if coming I was up sure was a little it. different. Toy vault. Let me do it all over again. You don't have to edit Thank this, you. Mac. Toy no, vault. No, no, no. There, I'll flip them off again. Toy vault. <laughs> the toy vault. Hey Vanderbilt, where are you keeping your uh, Where are you keeping your Maserati? I'm keeping it at my toy vault. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got a wonderful first floor at the Foible. We used to stay at the luxury hotel. Now we just get a house because we have a butler and a maid. <laughs> and then I go home and pick up my car at the Toy Vault. Now, is the Toy Vault, does it have elevators for cars or is it just no. one level? One level. One level. One Mac, ugly it's cinder block The Toy level. Vault, Fort Myers. Oh, you got it right there. Oh, Thank look you. At that. Thank you. There you go. Video. Mike, that is boom, some boom, beautiful boom. architecture. That's, uh, I know we're that's when they were putting here. it. Look, look how basic it is when, they were, uh, when it was under construction. Look, a series yeah. of cinder block, one level. Thang. Mike, it That's looks like it. they're training the Marines for the next war there. It's it's hideous. Can you scroll? Yeah, like can, do you mind scrolling yeah. down, please? And then you can see. Okay, this is what they. I oh, guess you're going to have to. <laughs> Barf. Right now, for those of you at home, yeah. every picture that the toy vault says, to basically letting you know how to, you should use it. Yeah. You're going to store your hot commercial right Your right exotic now. vehicles. Your four by four G wagons, right. four by I'm sorry, four by six G wagons, yep. two extra wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, your custom orange uh, county choppers, choppa. Your yeah. electric <laughs> pickup truck. Your electric pickup truck. <laughs> hey Tucker, where are you keeping your modified Hummer? <laughs> I keep it at the toy vault. <laughs> or no, no, that would be I keep it at the toy vault. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I so got 24 several... stores now. I keep it at the toy vault. What kind of I starts? love that they say move and ready and the picture that they uh, click on move and ready nails. at the top. What? I'm sorry, what? He's going to click on move and ready at the top. Just click on click Oh on good. It. We're going to And this have this one. and this right. pops up. All right, up. good. Good. <laughs> move and ready. That's it. You mean Oh, you these are construction us? pictures. This is the it's well beyond this Mac. They well, haven't updated real. it. This is their website. Yeah, this is their website. Oh, they're well, probably because the, they're, they're probably most of them sold and they're gone. They're in the wind. The the cinder blocks have been laid. The paint's been put on. And the vault bam, is full. The, the vault, vault is, is full. full. I don't think I don't think it's nearly full. No, I don't know. No. But that's a. That's what would you store in there? What would I store in there? Yes. a golf yes. simulator. <laughs> Good. Point. Yeah, I have plans for it. I would. <laughs> you actually, it would be. Uh, I, I I read a story um, about the NBA bubble. You remember when, yeah. during, during COVID, the NBA bubble, so they could play the, the playoffs. Yeah. Right. That a few the coffee was so bad in the bubble, and each player received a, a couple thousand dollars in petty cash a day as part of the the bubble uh, experience you know, go to. That some of the players started opening up. I think Jimmy Butler opened up his own, own little coffee shop. He brought in an Italian espresso make, maker, and he opened up. A little coffee shop, and he charged them twenty dollars a cup. That's it. That's, That's it. I perfect. love it. Yeah, I that's what that. you could do here. Yes, for the you could simulator? literally open up like a high-end convenience store next to your simulator yeah. in your barn and rental. just charge these people. Yeah, that's it. ask for rental. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we got to take a break. Uh, mm -hmm. That's uh, that's my uh, thank you for the therapy, gentlemen. I truly, yeah, truly appreciate like that. Out of the way. Once like, again, it's it's like it's gone. It's like it's a magic weight lifted off my shoulder. Just like I'm going to lift this cage that's above me out of this place and throw it into a landfill. Goodbye, <laughs> That'll ugly be fun. cage. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Let's talk about Chime. Yes. Improving your credit score might not be at the top of your naughty or nice list, but low or no credit can make holiday shopping a little bit of a slog, a little tough, a little mm. horrendous. So when you're buying this season, use the Secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card to build your credit scores with a one-time payment for everyday purchases. I should say one-time payments. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit uh, to check to get... Let me start again. Plus, plus there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. Use it like a Visa card at all Visa accepted locations, ladies and gentlemen. And you can use it at those spots to bolster your credit with your awesome. own funds. That's how it works. Level up your credit game with Chime. Remember that name. Seize your financial future. Do it, and God bless us, everyone. Start building up your credit right now. Open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime. 
Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank and a member FDIC out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Call 1 844 244 6363 for details. Late payment may negatively Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. It's Monday. Results may vary. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Thank you. There it is. Oh, look at that. It's in a toy vault. There it is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, hit, hit the boom, please. Do the hit boom. the boom. Hey, Mike. What? Hit the boom. Thank you. Nice. Was that loud enough? Was my boom loud enough? Or it should it be nice. louder? Yeah. No, it would always good. be louder, but it was nice. Hit no, the don't boom do that. Louder! Thank you. Uh, Christmas <laughs> is a time for family and togetherness, gentlemen, and holiday cheer, but sometimes you need a little naughty <laughs> to balance Ooh. out all the nice. Yeah. Here's a list of naughty holiday movies. I think they're more scary than naughty, most of them. Okay. Uh, there are a bunch of them, and I curated it uh, down to uh, 10. We'll go 10 to 1 here. Uh, number 10, we had fun with this when it first came yeah. out in 2015. Krampus. I remember that, yeah. Didn't I do Krampus? Didn't I yeah, do a voice for a Krampus? Guest. Sure. Hold on, I think I did. Wait a minute. I think I did a voice for Krampus. Let me remember, see Remember, Oscar, you, uh, you can't have a Krampus without Krampus. Mm-hmm. You can't have Krampus without a Krampus. Hi, Krampus. How are you? Do you prefer the nice kids or the naughty kids, Krampus? He's gone. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, Krampus, uh, number nine, Gremlins. I'm not familiar with Gremlins. Was it, uh, did it have a Christmas uh, yeah, you, the actual, story? The Gremlin Hi? itself was a Christmas gift. Okay. Do you not remember Gizmo? Yeah. I was not. Or Gremlins? I did not. I probably have never watched this that movie. This is the Go-Go 80s. Go yeah, yeah, Gremlins was I a good movie. I probably never the watched it. You, the sequel too busy was for the better. Movies? Gremlins yeah. 2 was we better than Gremlins. Some of those at WAVA. <laughs> sure. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Let's say uh, number eight, Christmas Evil. Gremlins in your pants. 1980, <laughs> Christmas Evil. You know that one? I don't. No, I don't, I don't know either. that one. No. Uh, number seven, here goes some of the slasher films. Christmas oh. Bloody Christmas, 2022. That was like last year. Um, uh, number six, this sounds, see, a lot of these movies, I like a good horror movie once sure. in a while. The Children in 2008. The Children. Hello, children. I'm the all, child catcher. All the children are in the toy vault. <laughs> uh, number five, Black Christmas, 1974. Wow. Uh, plus the remake in 2006 and the 2019 reimagining. This is a franchise. Black God. Christmas. Black Don't know Christmas. About. Uh, number four, 2016's Better Watch Out. <laughs> These are all horror movies. It's <laughs> a good think. warning. <laughs> they are. Uh, number three, here we go. Uh, this is, a I think, probably the biggest blockbuster on the list. Bad Santa. Yeah. And then Bad Santa 2. Bad Santa was all the way back in 2003. Time does fly, doesn't it? There, that's Bad Santa was it's, it's, it holds up. It, yeah, it, does it is hold the up. Na it is the naughtiest Christmas movie. I think it is. And yeah. uh, Bad Santa 2 was 2016. Uh, here's one that everybody talks about. I don't. I don't even. I've never seen it. Hmm. Number two is. Have you heard of Anna and the Apocalypse? No. It's 2017, no. a zombie Christmas musical comedy, <laughs> and it's really good. That's it's a good really genre. Good. A lot of those good movies are falling into that genre. And then uh, I don't know why this is at the top of the list. Oh, that's right. They probably paid for it. A Bad Mom's Christmas. Was it Bad Moms? Like uh, I don't kind know. Of a, I don't know. All right. I don't so, know. It was like Kristen Bell yeah. and uh, people like that. Yeah. <laughs> Max has great. it in his Kristen Bell simulator. <laughs> I thought the original Bad Moms was good. The, the That's other another Kristen Bell, right? Wasn't yeah. Kristen Bell in it? Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. You're saying there's two Bad Moms? I there's, there's only I think one. Three. Three? Three wow. Bad Moms. Whoa. It was like Bad Moms, okay. Bad Moms 2, and then Bad Moms Christmas. Bad Moms. Hmm. Did, you see, did you see a Bad Moms Christmas? I, I did not. Okay. All right. Nobody's watched them. All right. I, I saw the first and the second. Second wasn't good, so I wouldn't go back. We might not be in their key demographic. No, it is. It's for everybody. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> not, not for, for you. Me. <laughs> not for you, American movie classics. Uh, remember the uh, Catch Me Outside girl from Dr. Phil? Sure. A yeah. long yeah. time ago. Uh, well, because this is America, she was able to parlay being the worst human being on earth into a multi-million dollar career as uh. a rapper. And influencer. Her real yes. name, I, I seem to, I remember the real name, Danielle Brigoli. Uh, mm -hmm. But she calls herself Bahad Bahabi, B-H-A-D-B-H-A-B-I-E. 
the had baby. And guess what? What? This is wonderful news. Is this great? <laughs> She's having a baby of her own. Oh, like isn't having that a baby. special? <laughs> uh, over the weekend, she posted two pictures of herself with a bun in the oven. Yeah. She's 20 years old, by the way, and she uh, does have a steady boyfriend, so perhaps he's the father. Mike, I know. No, actually, sure. I just got an update. The father has been named, and it is Satan. Satan, Satan is the father of the baby. The had baby. Am I wrong that she's made twenty one million dollars? I don't on think so. I think it was. A, I think years ago she was one of the early. Uh, yeah, because they yeah. they loved, first mover advantage. Yeah, yeah, and they loved reporting on how much she was able to. Par- we love evil. We yeah, love the we, vil- we love the villain. We I mean, it's have. the way it works in America, I, I, mm. and I think it's probably the way it works everywhere. It's the human mm. condition. Uh, you know, you go out and you behave so badly because everybody tries to behave well, most of us. So if you completely throw that out the window, some people, myself included, can be occasionally attracted to it. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, when do you put your Christmas tree up? When do you put it up? Is there a specific my, date? My my. Tree usually goes up on Thanksgiving. When yeah, mine we, goes up, we shoot for Thanksgiving. We'll put up ours. Put up ours this weekend, I think. So you're been, putting up this busy, weekend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some some people right after tea giving. Uh, some people December first. Uh, or are you uh, safety first and wait until mid month so it doesn't dry out for a real one? According yeah. to tradition, all three of those options are wrong. Wrong, really? wrong, wrong, Billy Bobby Bull. Uh, if you put your Christmas tree up yesterday, you did it right. Yesterday hmm. would have been the third. Yeah. Even though my watch is telling me it was the fourth. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Sunday was the first day of the Advent calendar. Or oh, Advent. okay. Uh, as in Advent calendars, it's an old religious thing. Most of us just use them as an excuse to eat chocolate. Uh, the traditional Advent varies by a year. By year, rather, not by year, but always starts four Sundays before Christmas. Excuse me. And then Mike <laughs> threw up all over the console. Uh, when is the best time to throw up during the Christmas season? God, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> always between November 27th and December 3rd. Yeah. That's when you're supposed you to know, throw up. You know what my grandfather used to do, Big Daddy, when he had, he had eight kids? And so Christmas was well, we, crazy. Well, then we know what he used to do. Well, no, but he after He used to that, climb like, on like every every it. other weekend. Please, no. Okay, don't all right. Say that. Sorry. Uh, he would put up the tree and decorate it after the kids went to bed on Christmas Eve. Which so they I'm woke sure a lot of people did. But it's, I mean, the amount of stuff he had to do in one night, he was like Santa Claus. But that I could never do that. I, could you For wait tradition, that long? Uh, the trees, when you're supposed to open the first door on your advent calendar, mm-hmm. but a lot of them start on the first now, so you open the last one on Christmas Eve. Okay. Uh, December 3rd is also when you're supposed to uh, put up your tree, and if you do care about traditions, take it down on January 6th. That is when the 12 days of Christmas are over. Which is I there a know. plug on there for Snoop on a stoop? Snoop on a stoop. Is the, is that an ornament? Do You you don't know about Snoop on a stoop? Is it Obviously, it's like Elf on a Shelf. Mac, look it up and show it to the guys. I just ordered one myself. This Does is a new product? With the rapper yes. Snoop Dog E-Dog? Yes, it ah. does. These are new traditions. Now, I'm going to wait. Mike, I'm gonna Michael, wait Michael knows that. Christmas isn't real, right? Hey, hey, I mean, hey. Santa. Well, he's Stop. 10. Of course he knows. Yeah. Mm, okay. He's 10. But there's, I've seen on Facebook recently some real, there's a thing floating around, <laughs> which is a really cool there explanation. <laughs> there's Snoop with a blunt. There he is. Sitting on a stoop. <laughs> it's like a bad Gumby. Can you pull up a TikTok, type in Snoop on a stoop in, in TikTok and pull that video up? Yeah, it's cool. That Snoop on a stoop is not, it does not do the Snoop on a stoop. The one I saw, Justice. Okay. Is it right. similar, like green with spindly it, arms and it's, legs? It's similar, but it also, the idea that you could have a child that understands that, you know, maybe Santa isn't who Santa really is, yeah, right. but might not you come can to still your house. continue yeah. a tradition. Well, Snoop <laughs> is, uh, yeah. God, Snoop Dogg. Because when did you stop doing Elf on a Shelf? Uh, we didn't do Elf on a Shelf. You didn't? No. No, no we didn't. We dated us, too, yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I figured you guys would. No. Last year, my um, my niece found out about Elf on a Shelf when uh, she realized that my my brother in law moved the Elf outside of the ring doorbell, 
and saw my brother in my brother in law, her father, set up the elf on a shelf outside in the front <laughs> stoop. <laughs> Which like defeats the whole purpose, right? Yeah, and she's like, I saw you and she was crying. She Aww. had explained to her that it wasn't real. And, because when you're a kid, that's how you you know, it's Santa's not gonna come and now if you're not good, the elf the elf on the shelf. But you go ahead and play okay, it. Here we the go, video man. now. Wait. A cigarette. Give me another one. Give me another one. Snoop on a stoop. <laughs> yeah. Can I get one more back? One where he breaks out of that. The little kid actually, the parents made it look like he broke out of the actual box. Look for that one. <laughs> How car- much would you pay for a Snoop on a stoop? $10. No. Oh, not no. one thin dime. I don't want that. Not one thin dime? No, sir. No, so You're into the stickiest of the ickiest. I'd pay 25 bucks. It's not a big deal. I'd pay 25 bucks for it. I bet it's No, I have no kids to, uh, you know, uh, like enjoy the holidays with. But if I did, I, I would. Like, my favorite part of that video was, that's a Snoop on a stoop. <laughs> uh, I, I love that. Either from Philly or Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, poll asked thousands of people uh, what they'd do if they found $1,000 on the ground. Forty-seven percent of people say they'd keep it if no one else was around. Mm-hmm. Uh, women were slightly more likely to say they'd keep it than men. Uh, they also broke it down by. Uh, that's different than a wallet, right? That's different than picking something Absolutely. up with identification. If it's just, if it's just uh, your brand, there's no way. They to also broke it. it down by cities and found that the most honest city, Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida, with a pretty high crime good rate. Good people. That's yeah, pretty good people. people. Uh, 62% of them said they'd hand it over. Uh, the other honest cities include L.A., Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Hotlanta. How about mm. that? The most dishonest cities, assuming it's dishonest to keep it, were Detroit, Memphis, and New Orleans. Memphis. All three, uh, just 38%. Of those yeah. cities, uh, in those cities, said that they'd hand it over. The next most dishonest was, uh oh, Baltimore. Baltimore. I'm going to keep this money. No one wants it, and I'm going to keep it. Let's There's... do an informal poll. Would you keep it if you found $1,000 cash lying around, just lying on the street? $1,000, someone in cash, and this is how I feel because I feel like no one uses cash anymore. Mm-hmm. Whoever's using cash, they're nefarious enough to find you. So I would like to figure out who to give it back but to. But if they're nefarious, would you really want to find them in the first place? No, I would. They would, I would find him. I would not. They would, they would find me. I would give it to the authorities, and that would be it. Really? Okay. Yeah, and, Rob, so, and then they'd do? probably give it to a I charity. Would, I would yeah. keep it and run and buy 34 Snoop on a Stoops. Okay, very good. Did you what do about you, Mike? Um, yeah. I would, uh, you know what? I would keep it and uh, yeah, but I would just keep it, yeah. get myself to the closest casino. I would think it's drug money. That's the first thing that comes up. Maybe because See, I live in a city. Because you do live in the city. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I would think it was going to pay for somebody's, uh, you know, medical store supplies. Because <laughs> I live down here. Perhaps it was money set aside for a new wheelchair. In my neighborhood, it was some lady buying wine. That was her wine money. That's all. Wine money. <laughs> wine money. Yeah. Yeah. $1,000 uh, in wine money. I would try to parlay that, though, into a uh, real windfall. Would it work? Although I have, I, I'm going to, you know what, tomorrow... Note to self. Please. Tomorrow, gentlemen, I will explain to you what watching my slot machine videos has done to me. Oh, no. And it's a miracle. It's what I call the Christmas miracle. It really, really is. It wow. really, really is. I'm excited to talk about it. I'll do that tomorrow. Finally, uh, they say men are dogs. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. This is Gen Z stuff. Now, Gen Z stuff for me, sometimes I, I have trouble tracking with it, don't have trouble with this. This is interesting. Okay. Gen Z women are pursuing what are called golden retriever men. Have you heard about this? No. No. All right. Golden retriever men have been hailed as the generation's new heartthrobs, beloved by young social media addicted singles. But what is a golden retriever man, you ask? I do. Hmm. Hey, Mike, what uh, is a golden retriever man? It doesn't refer to the owners of the dogs, but to the men who actually possess the same qualities as the dog. Think sweet, gentle, affectionate, and eager to please, not to mention easy to train. The Urban Dictionary defines them as a significant other that is easygoing and makes it fairly simple to maintain a happy and fulfilling relationship. Taylor Swift, 
Uh, the new squeeze, Taylor uh, Travis Kelsey, has frequently been cited as a golden retriever man thanks to his sweet nature and his lumbering puppy dog mannerisms. I am sorry, you do not excel as a tight end in the NFL if you are sweet and lumbering. Yeah, you, you, you're right. The aggression you need to possess to play that position, this is just because anything now you can shoehorn into Taylor Swift. It's <laughs> yeah. not. Look, I get the whole concept of golden retriever, so man. True. I don't think you need to f- just force that square peg into the round hole. Isn't that another word for cucks? You mean cuck holds? Yeah. <laughs> no, no cuck holds really. are, are men that uh, their women cheat on them. That's yeah. what a cuckold is. I thought there were women that were that were women. I get that, but I thought there were men that women just walk all over and that, do whatever they want. I well, think we're a, really, a, really close to the line on that one. Yeah. I really do. I, I'm mixed up because I was told I was a golden retriever man, but it was because I drooled a lot. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, when I came on today, when I connected with you, Rob, <laughs> yes. your mouth, your mouth was so wide open. Yeah, I, 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 I turn on the kind. You, you keep your mouth open a lot, don't you? Yeah, you I breathe do. through your mouth most of the time. <laughs> Not most of the time. No. Okay, because I let you. You were like this. I, I turned on the, the first thing I saw. My first Monday image was this. Mm-hmm. Mike, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> to you uh, and dating, yours. dating <laughs> quote, dating coach Haley Quinn. Told the Huffington Post that she's excited about women's enthusiasm for such men, saying they make great long-term companions. That's That's a dog reference. Great, yeah. Uh, Anyway, we'll see. But I think there is a dangerous line for you know the men that get walked over. No, there are look there are. I think that there's a difference between nice guys and guys that you know rather not fight just random fights because there are toxic relationships. Sure. For example, I, I went out. To dinner with uh, Katie Von Herman and Dan Von Herman three week three weekends ago on mm-hmm. a Friday. You didn't say that. Town. You didn't mention that. It was right before the the holiday break. Oh, they were okay. in town. Okay. It was like a five. They had written. Katie likes writing four or five weeks ahead of time when she's coming into town. Right. right. And I'm throwing out just like obligatory. Yeah, sure, no problem. See you then. Blah blah blah. Like throwing these things out. Mm-hmm. They show up at 5 o'clock on a Friday. I'm packing up to go home. And you had totally and forgotten, hadn't you? I completely forgot I threw a text that, like, come on by. Oh, we'll go and get, like. Neo. And Shannon looks at me. She's like, I can't do any social things. I'm exhausted. I said, I'll go. So then she says hi and bye, and it's me, Von, Dan, and Katie. And I went out. We took him out to, I took him out to a nice dinner. And, and I remember sitting there and looking at Dan and Katie. I said, Dan, I forgot that you actually don't talk that much. And, she, and then right. she goes, Katie jumps in. She goes, he sure doesn't. And I love it that way. <laughs> so- be, well, hey, they got to be. They got to be pushing at least 20 years, right? Something yes. like that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. And in my case, uh, the conflict, I was unable to find a person that would like men who uh, don't like conflict because I live in a state of constant conflict. So right. what I had to do was punch my way through, and I happened to find the toughest woman in America who is also pretty. That's true. You Aren't did I? Very lucky well. man. Yes. You lucky very man. Well. Yeah. Lucky man. But I have also been somewhat beaten into submission. Mm-hmm. Just a bit. Just a wee bit. I apologize all the time. Mike, me. we really should break. Carrie needs to take me for a walk. <laughs> we'll be uh, we'll be right back with uh, more fun. I want to talk about that TV show because so many people recommended oh, yeah. it to me, and, and I really, good. really want to uh, do a dive on it. Oscar, I'm uh, I'm not all the way in. I'm three episodes in when that no. the big moment happened. That's, yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, anyhow, we'll take a break, and when we come back, uh, a great TV show that I am digging. You want to lose 21% of your weight? Yes. I've lost over 65 pounds. I am excited to share with you that DermGlowSkin.com is now your one-stop shop for finally getting control of your weight problem. All you have to do is click on the weight loss button at DermGlowSkin.com, take the quiz, and see if you qualify. They'll turn you over to a doctor. A doctor will write you a prescription. The pharmacy will fill it. And your weight loss medication will be shipped directly to your house, just like it was to mine. These are the real weight loss products, semaglutide and terzipatide, that you have heard so much about. And if you qualify, you can get them right now at DermGlowSkin.com. If you are already on it, like I was, do what I did. 
You show the doctor your prescription and easily make the switch. I already did, and I'm still losing weight to date over 65 pounds. Go ahead, get excited, and do it all online right now at DermGlowSkin.com. If you've struggled with weight for too long, God almighty have I. Click the weight loss button and begin the best journey of your life. Be like our proud partner, Tom Wopat. <laughs> he's an American I he's American I icon. You were so you were so eager Very for the excited. joke. Oh, Forgive no. me. Oh, he's no. an American icon oh, no. and the forever beloved Luke Duke from CBS Classic Dukes of Hazard. You loved him on Broadway and you forgave him for his assault and battery charges while he was in 42nd Street. <laughs> we love Tom. <laughs> I even forgot. We love Tom for turning it around and for his support of Derm Glow. And remember, the cocaine charges never stop. <laughs> God. Deep dive. Uh, it's amazing what you can find. You just go to Wiki. That's all you do. That's all you got to uh, do. Find a celebrity and have some fun. Okay, folks. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to uh, all of you that recommended uh, lessons in chemistry on Apple Wonderful. TV. Uh, I, it's weird sometimes. Uh, it's almost I equate it with a book that you read the first couple of pages and you're like, I'm not going to like this. Mm -hmm. That's the way the trailer was and that's the way the promotional uh, videos for this uh, were. And I just said, no, I'm not going to like that. I have to tell you, I wish I'd known because it's such great viewing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brie Larson is amazing absolutely she is an amazing fun actress. to look at do you see her and there are times when to me she looks like a young sybil shepherd uh the, the, the camera catches yeah, I her can just see right that. i can see where so you would uh, you would say to that look at yeah pardon. um and uh, you know just uh I, I love i think this says about me something right i love television shows about smart women i yeah. really really do i loved uh what is it the queen's gambit I mm -hmm. love that. Oh, yeah. With uh, yeah. Joy, whatever, Erica Joy or whatever her name is. The uh, chess show. It was the, the chess, chess show. The chess show was phenomenal. This uh, has a very, very similar vibe. And man, oh, man, uh, to my mom, God rest your soul, you grew up in that era. You were a professional in mm. that era, working before you met my dad at Aetna Life and Casualty in Hartford, Connecticut. And man, the portrayal of the 50s. In that uh, in that television show, you really go back and look at it, and I don't think there's exaggeration. I think that's really no, what think the world right. was for women in the uh, in the fifties. It's, to a, a, it's a strong, strong period flavor, and when they do that, they tend to gloss it. If they do something that's set seventy years ago, eighty years ago, yeah. or whatever. But yeah, what like this the old is, cars and you know, yeah, and, and the fun. I get and all on that. this one that. It's very accurate in visuals, but it's also unvarnished because the behaviors of people. I yeah. think that's how it was. I really do. I, I, yeah. I think it's. I, I love. Have you I gotten love the show. Rain Wilson as the uh, no, owner I have of the not. network yet? I have not oh, gotten he's there. Great. I'm, a, he's great. I'm three in or four in. Three or four. We did. Okay. Yeah. Carla never binges. We binged that a little bit. What last about time. the tears? Do you guys have tears on that third episode? Uh, you know, I haven't. Uh, the, I am getting. We got about a third of the way through right after the big moment. That's okay. uh, the, the, the next. You, you stop watching after that. How yeah. is it even possible? We were but we it just I mean, that oh we, that's God. I don't know. Is that three or four that we were watching? Shannon, I, three. I don't let I don't let Shannon cry in front of me. Yeah. I just don't like it. Um, so when she it needed to cry, she went to, she went to the restroom after that episode. She was like audibly cr crying out loud. It was. Yeah. It, I would have cried it's... except I'm on Lexapro and I'm, I'm, I'm prohibited from crying. Now. You feel nothing. I feel nothing. look. I will tell you, I will tell you, yeah, maybe that's why I don't cry anymore. I wanted oh to my cry, God, but that's I why I don't couldn't. cry anymore. Mike, I used to cry all the Budweiser commercial with the horses made me cry. And now yeah. I can't cry with anything, anything. Yeah, yeah that's a, uh, yeah, well. Probably for the best. Uh, I'm better hydrated now because no tears. Probably for the best. <laughs> I will tell you this, that, uh, you know what? I love the profession. I admire the profession. I do. Mm -hmm. I think that it is not easy to create believability in characters and character development and be convincing on camera. It's tough mm. to do yeah. it. It's not easy. Not everybody can do it. These two actors, and I wish I had the actor's name that plays her love interest in this show because he's fantastic. Is it Joe as Bologna? Well. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Bologna. Who the F is that? Mac, you got to do it. It's such an obscure reference. 
You can put up my favorite year, Joe Bologna. And Joe Bologna, is, didn't he play the Sid Caesar character yeah, yeah, in was, my favorite um, year? I think he was Max King, I think was his name in the it, movie. <laughs> this is Joe Bologna, Joe B-O-L-O-G-N-A. My Bologna like, has a my first Bologna name. Has a yeah, exactly. <laughs> Joe Bologna. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to is, stop the is, show. I'm sorry, but it's worthy of a picture. And Mike, the name uh, you're looking for, uh, the guy who plays Calvin Evans, is Lewis Pullman. Lewis, Lewis Pullman. Pullman. The name really of the actor, good. yeah. Is he related to Bill Pullman? Because he looks like Bill Pullman. I'll find out. Hold on. I wonder if he's Lewis. That's, that's Joe, Joe that's Bologna. A young, that's a, lo- a young that's picture a of Joe Bologna. That's a sexy Joe Bologna. A sexy uh, Joe Bologna. So, yeah, anyway. he's, he's Bill Pullman's son. Yeah. He looks wow, like Wow, good for you. Yeah, That's really awesome. Cool. So yeah. check it out. Lessons in chemistry. I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I'll wrap it up by the end of this week. Try to talk her into two episodes tonight. Yeah. Push. How many uh, episodes How many episodes during the season do we have? I think uh, there's going to be eight. I think okay. eight. It's always eight. It's yeah. always eight. You're going to love it. Oh, fantastic. It's good. It, never, it uh, doesn't let up. We'll, uh, uh, we will take a break, and then we have to deal with a, uh, another scam. Another scam. Scam. Can you believe scam, that? Scam, scam, scam. When we come back on the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I got it here. Uh, Tis the season for hydration. Uh, No Mm -hmm. matter where or who you are hydrating this season, Liquid IV is the hydration brand to fuel your well-being. Got the classic lemon-lime. Their hydration multiplier can keep you going through the end of the year and beyond. Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Remember, Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone. I keep... A bunch of packets of liquid IV in my golf bag. Yeah, I was going to ask about that if it works right on the course for you. Yeah. Saturday morning, I am getting ready to go out and play. I reach into the side of my golf bag, and I I, I don't want to call it withdrawal, but I realized <laughs> that one of my that my packets I had used all of them, and I began oh, no. to tremble curl into a fetal position and i was freaked out i it's love liquid habit. iv yeah, that much it's a good habit uh, it's have. a single stick and it's got two times uh, faster hydration than water alone so good easy lots of delicious flavors uh the sugar-free has white peach green grape lemon lime uh really i love liquid iv and you will too Make it a Liquid IV holiday. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use code TMOS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. Oscar, right before the show, the the way it works is we wait for Oscar's arrival, and mm-hmm. usually everything's set to go. We have a really brief meeting with uh, going over stuff. Very last thing that said before coming on the air here, Oscar said, oh, and I got scammed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I need to know what happened to you. Please tell okay, us. So we've all, and I actually, this is the first time, I was, I was ashamed that it happened. Oh, dear. I was ashamed because I said, how the F that I let this happen this seems like a senior citizen scam or like something that Mike would go through or definitely Rob. And thank you. Now, now I have to share this with you all. And actually it's buyer beware. There is, we've all bought tickets to events probably in the past year. And you can either go, what's your traditional route? My traditional route is to go to the actual venues website. And then, if it's not at the venue, then I will go to a secondary market. I That's will exactly only go right, to a yeah. secondary ticket vendor if uh, if the website doesn't have them, because usually uh, the result of the uh, website is a uh, reasonably priced ticket compared to a secondary, like a gray market ticket place. I use the uh, secondary market if it's a like for the last time I saw Paul McCartney, I waited until day before, and I wanted to see who was stuck, and the prices came down. So that was the time I used the secondary Great. market. As a rule, so, I do all the legitimate stuff. We're on the same page. Right. This actually happened at the ninth. For the, I, was buying a, I was buying a pair of, well, I was actually buying a pair of tickets for a comedian I saw on, on uh, TikTok for a March show at the DC Improv. Okay. And we have worked with the DC Improv at such an extent that I either can write Allison for tickets mm-hmm. if I was a scumbag or I could buy them. Been there for a long time. I am time. proud to I am She's proud awesome. to say that I've always purchased them. Not even through Allison because I would just buy them off the website. Mm-hmm. No big deal. I'm good to go. I don't mind supporting them especially um coming out of COVID. Uh you know, 
the fact that they're still open and still chugging along is pretty impressive. And they've done good good work for us, yep. Mike. They've been good for us. Oh, great good, good to us. Over, great venue. Over the years. If you want to see a great comedy show in a perfect location, <clears throat> that's one of my so, favorite places. Not going to mention the comedian that is irrelevant to this because it's not that big a comedian and not even at the moment. But I was like, you know what? Let me get ahead of this. I, Shannon had a lot of fun at the Chris Rock show. Um, l- let me get two tickets. I didn't even buy four because I didn't. I was like, well, this might not be a great show. It's not right. something I would want to bring friends to. It's be we'll just see if this we is go. your thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. So I, this is five in the morning, Saturday morning. I just woken up, so I was up. I was like, fine, let me just get my day started. You're trying to score tickets for that night? No, this, no, is, this in is March. For a, for a March show. Way ahead oh, of March time. show. So this is, I mean, it's a small venue, but it's a pretty heavy duty. Guy. Way ahead of time. Yeah. And okay. it's not even a heavy hitter that it's sold out already. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just there. Okay. So I go to, I type in um, DC, DC Improv, just into my, and I see the website. I click through on a website that looks like the DC Improv website. Uh oh. And I cl- click through the tickets, and I I see. I was like, oh my god! Like these things almost sold out. And it looks like a it looks like a slightly different interface, slightly mm-hmm. different. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not paying a hundred and and thirty dollars a ticket for this. I've never even seen these prices before. I guess I, I was like, I don't. Maybe I haven't been in a while. But things I'm going to change. And I, and I put my tablet down. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go get some coffee, figure out what's right. going on. Come back. And I'm like, so then I type it in again into Google search. Yeah. And that site comes, the same site comes up and I click through. I was like, I guess, I guess this is real. Well, so you, you, you know, were suspicious initially. Yes. Mm. I felt the spidey senses start moving. Sure. But I wasn't on my A game. I literally, I was just drinking my, uh, my Starbucks double shot can, just trying to get my life together. You were sleepy. And then, and then a little thing popped up as I was getting there, and it said tickets almost gone, like a red little create indicator. urgency. Yeah. Did you? And I was like, well, if it's almost gone, this thing must be. I mean, this is quite a new system for the nine thirty club, but fine. I buy the tickets after service charges and everything effing else. It was almost four hundred dollars for two tickets. Fail. Why are you reading ahead? <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing. The joy that's coming out of you right now for me being fleeced. I see it. So not even concerned, just joy. Um, so then I was like, 15 minutes goes by. I'm like, ah, there's no way that guy's charging $400, $200. That's like, those are Chris Rock rates. Yeah, exactly. For a DAR, not the 930 Club. Mm-hmm. So I go back and I... I'm sorry, not 930, not the DC Improv. I type in the DC Improv website. I go to the website, and there I see there are tickets available to the same show I looked at in March, and they're $30 a piece. What Ouch. venue are we talking about here? The DC Improv. The little room. Mm-hmm. The little, no, not the little room. Well, there's only two rooms, well, but two the main room. room. But that's the main not room, a yeah. big venue. It's 200 no. people. Yeah. Yes, but they're not charging. Oh, I have ever seen a two hundred dollar. No, they don't have two hundred dollar ticket shows. Right. So, I find out quickly as I type in this website's address into the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. That there are brrr, no less than two hundred one star reviews and and reports about this website, which I will give in a second essentially spoofing other venues' websites around the country using Google uh, keywords. So when you search for it, it comes up as the first thing that pops up. And then they charge you four to 500% markup on the tickets. You buy them, and then you're locked in. And so this is wow. This is not theft. This is literally charging Stup- you more than the venue should be paying. This is a secondary ticket yeah. site. So you yes. got your tickets, but at that ridiculous price. <laughs> Before the show was sold out. So you paid $400, with a manufactur- you paid with a $400 manu- for $60 worth of tickets. Worth yeah. of tickets, yeah. mm-hmm. yes. And there's no recourse? Well, uh, Mike, as, as you know, you pay a premium for service. And with the American Express Platinum... Uh, I was able to call, and they said, look, as soon as you're good to go, as soon as this thing posts, uh, the transaction has a post, we will get into it, and because you've been such a valid member, we will make sure to take care of it. So did they take care of you? 
Well, it's probably posting today. Yeah. We'll find out. Can you give us an update tomorrow and let us uh, know? Yes, but I well, I know in the past when this has happened to people, that I mean, that's the one reason you pay a premium for a card like this because they'll take care of you and they'll just waive it. Right. Mm-hmm. But for most cards, they're not. They're, good, they're just going to be like, good luck, dude. It's a free credit card. You should have read the terms of service. Goodbye. Yeah. Buyer beware. You're- Make sure you go to the venue's website. Mm. Type in the URL. Because if this is, I felt that, you know, you feel better when, you know, misery loves company. Yeah, I get it. When I saw the 200 plus people on here talking about this one website that is garbage, mm. uh, I felt I felt a little better. I said, okay, well, then I'm not the, I'm not a big dummy, but I am a dummy. Well, you know, it's all about me. And so uh, this whole discussion, at least at the end of the rainbow, you're going to be able to uh, sit down and enjoy a comedian that's probably edgy and fun. You know, you're not. Yes. I'm spending over, I spent over $200 uh, for... Broadway Palm Dinner Theater, uh, matinee show, and uh, not proud of that purchase, but Carla wanted it. Is it coming up, or uh, is it a Christmas theme show? Coming up probably uh, on the 14th of December, Rob. Mike, here's how I'll make that joyful for you. As you did last year, just imagine the guy who's playing Santa Claus is me. Probably (laughs) there'll be a couple of them. I'm going to see Elf the Musical. Wow, I know what I'm going to get you for Christmas. A, a T-shirt that says FML on it. <laughs> yeah, is that what it is? Yeah, that's good. So, uh, uh, well, let the me know how it is, turns out. The website that comes up when you know you're being oh, yeah. defrauded. Yeah, go Tickets ahead. Go ahead. Dash, yeah, go ahead and do it. Tickets-events.com. Tickets-events.com. Events.com. So that's um, that's simple. So you're like, oh, this is probably a reputable site that the venue is now working well, with. We'll get yeah, them. Wow. To, yeah, they gotta they gotta whack their peepees. Yes. So to speak. We got to take a break. Uh, We'll come back with a very abbreviated version of the flip side on the Mike O'Mara show. All that just to see a little old Matt Reif. Wow. that's (laughs) Ah, Matt Uh, Reif was cheaper. (laughs) We'll be right back, everybody. (laughs) That's funny. Oh, man. There is nothing like a new coffee mug. How would you like to handle all your holiday shopping in just one place? You can just hit up the Mike O'Mara Show online store from legacy T-shirts and cozy hoodies to morning transforming coffee mugs. It's your one-stop shop to share your TMOS passion. You can easily give the best merch and make some new fans for your favorite podcast. Even if you're just giving a gift to yourself, we've got your back. We hand-select everything for top-tier quality and killer looks. Grab your TMOS gear and support the show you love. Every purchase keeps the laughs coming. Order today. Today. Mm. Guaranteed Christmas delivery. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, look, we're working. This is a new venture. We're going to do our best to get them to you. Uh, the TMOSstore.com, source for all things TMOS. Official, authentic, and awesome. Thank you for your support. It's all happening at TMOSstore.com, everybody. Hey, yeah. There she is. Damn it. Oh, sorry, Hello. guys. The flip side. Before we get into the flip side, real quick, I know we'll get in probably detailed uh, discussion about fruitcakes tomorrow. Yes. But I want everyone to know fruitcake baking has completed. They will go out this week. Good. And I want to thank my elves this year Sharon Bailey, Matt Ponyboy Bloom. John Hartnett, a newcomer that uh, he uh, offered to step in when Mark left. And my Bravo. MVP of the weekend, Mike McIntosh. Hey, hey Max. Nice. Way to go, buddy. Your picture, Mac. Yeah. I was so happy you were there. He Thank never, you. he has never been there for a full baking day. He's helped with glazing and shipping, but he's never been there for the full day. And he was a tank. God Thanks, bless, God bless Mac. you. Thank man. you, Max. Thanks great. so much. God bless. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right, best football call of the weekend goes to the uh, – it was the Browns game. I didn't watch the Browns game. I saw this. Joe Flacco. Saw this in highlights. Back, baby. Mike, yeah, uh, back. Played like the, it. The greatest, played like Flacco. The greatest well, he started off, but. inbounds call ever or out-of-bounds call ever. Uh, listen to what the ref says here because this guy, he really saved his ass. Percent his career. Prior to the receiver's leg hitting out of bounds, his butt cheek hit inbound. <laughs> As a result, it's a catch. Let him know, Hussey. And a first down. <laughs> Let's go. His butt okay. cheek. You've if never you heard had that. If you had butt cheek on your bingo card for the NFL on Fox today, congratulations. Los wow. Angeles will be charged mm-hmm. a time Dean was scared. You can lose John it. Right. not scared. Real quick. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll fly say it. I, yeah. I'm sorry to make it about me so much. That's all right. I get it. So, look. Holding out hope, right? Giants, four wins, right? They're saying 
hey, mathematically, right? You got the it Packers. Could they got you got a few teams in their way that they have to do poorly. The, the Packers, winners. Rams, winners. Yeah. Uh, and I think it was the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, winners. There you yeah. go. It's great being a Giants fan. La, la, so la, la, it's la, not la, just la. that your team sucks. They yeah, can't the, even all catch the teams that had to win one. Yeah, that's the, better, that's the better teams. Thank yeah. you. I am a big fan of Billie Eilish, always have been, love her music, and I think her presentation is great. When she did Saturday Night Live, she wowed me with how funny she was. But this came out over the weekend, and I used the word come out uh, actually on purpose. This is just on a red carpet event. She let this slide, and I find her nonchalance refreshing. We got to talk about your cover story because you mentioned that you felt like for a long time women didn't like you, and when that came out, all the women were like, we "No, like we her. love her." I know. How did that reception feel? Did your has your mind changed a little bit? I'm still scared of them, but I think they're pretty. <laughs> Billy, did you mean did you mean to come out in the story, girl? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I kind of thought, wasn't it obvious? Like it's kind of been. I just, I didn't realize people didn't know, so. We need to get to a point where you don't even have to come out, so. I, I, I just don't really believe in it. I'm just like, why can't we just exist? I've been doing this for a long time, and I just didn't talk about it. Whoops. Same. She's I literally so was magnetic. like to my mom and dating women. Yeah. But I was like, I was like, I saw all the articles. I was like, oh, I guess I, I guess I came out today. I was like, oh, I guess, okay, cool. But I'm, t- I'm it's exciting to me because, you know, I guess people didn't know, so it's cool that they know. But ooh, I'm nervous talking about it. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm gay. You're safe. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, but no, it's uh, I am for the girls. Isn't that awesome? She, she's that's just really sweet. She is so yeah. cool. I, she's yeah, really one of the I coolest adore her. personalities I think that's out great. there. And let's close with this, Mike. I know that you guys look to me as sort of a font of Christmas spirit. I'm a Mister Christmas type of guy, and as we get closer to the holidays, I will try to spread joy. And that's why this piece made me not want to enjoy it, but somehow, I guess it's early enough in December that the darkness is still in my belly. Christmas people, do not laugh at this. Sunday about 8.15, me and my wife were sitting on the couch watching TV and heard uh, kind of like a small bang or whatever. So she asked me to take a look, and when I looked out the front door, and when I looked out the front door, uh, we saw that the inflatable had fallen over. I went back and looked at our home security camera, and it actually showed a vehicle turn around in the court, and a sound that sounded like a firearm shoot it, and as soon as that noise went off, the inflatable fell down. <laughs> oh, the inflatable oh, oh, my God. It was all captured of me. That's all I got. Somebody shot it. <laughs> Yeah, kind of a slow night in Lexington, Kentucky, ladies and gentlemen. And as he said, Mike, Santa had fell him down. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. He's dead. They go. Listen, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode tomorrow. And uh, happy, uh, happy job for everybody that did the fruitcakes. We really yes, appreciate thank it. You guys. Uh, thank guys, you, guys. Guys, kick ass on the uh, TMOS store today. It is Please. what it is. Uh, and this year, uh, I think everything is a little tougher as far as uh, moving around the country. It just is. It's the reality of it. So you want to get it out uh, for your Christmas. Get out there today. Get your stuff from the TMOS store. Please, please, please. And uh, we appreciate that. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Uh, I think that I am familiar with the fact that you are going to ignore this particular problem until it swims up and bites you on the ass. 